Here, here's my question. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me, and I want to know your real answer, and I also want you guys to make a clip out of this because this is a very good, solid clickbait. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Does part of you want to f*** Crip Mac? <laughs> He's something warm like a gorilla bear. I don't know. I honestly You're now. Not to say that. No, he did say that. That yeah. what the f- is a gorilla bear? I don't know. Okay, so so Adam has been telling me about Crip Mac for years now. He's like this funny guy, blah blah. I honestly started getting sick of it. I was like, f- "You're watching Crip Mac on TV. You keep talking about him. I'd never met the guy." He super nice. He bought our daughter blue Converse for her first birthday. I don't know if that was Lupe who bought that, but it might have been. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, from Quebec, <laughs> super nice. Uh, and I, I never got to meet him, and so I meet him on set for the first time. And I, I actually don't spend that much time around him when we're filming, except for the scenes I was in with him. But when I'm watching the show back, I get to really see how funny he is. And then we watched his documentary that Channel 5 did, and I got to see his mom and his story growing up. And I do kind of have a soft spot for him. And if he won. I don't know. What? Like, I just feel like... If he had won. Well, we Maybe he did. Maybe winner. he did. So you would have had to pick him out of the final three. Yeah, I just... I if feel like... Did. I feel oh. like now... <laughs> now I'm kind of into him, even though he told me his dick is really small. Yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of feeling his vibes. Yeah. 55th uh, Street vibes. Wait, this but man told you his dick was small? I was I like, respect- tell me when to stop. And he told me right away. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like is that small? And he was like, yeah, it's a nifty nickel. <laughs> what the f*** does that even mean? That's just something he says. Because he's from 55th Street, would so you, he's constantly referencing the five. Would you let me go on a date oh. with Krimak? Because now I kind of have a thing for him. Like a real date. I feel like you're doing like the Kazumi thing right now. I feel like you're just like kind of <laughs> saying crazy stuff. No, I just... I, this I, is going to be the part where we start fighting. <laughs> no, he sent me like a really nice note for Thanksgiving, a voice Uh-oh. note. And I was like, he's so nice. He's like, I want to be his friend. If you want to go on a date with him, I think that's a great idea, yeah. Can I just hang out with him? Can I go to the movies? No. <laughs> not, not too much. Platonic. <laughs> a, a date is one thing. Movies is a, a bridge too far. Well, yeah, I never even go to the movies, so that would be kind of weird. Mm. You don't have to talk to them, though. Like, you're just sitting there in yeah. silence. It's so, kind of weird. Do you think you would be the same person after getting f***ed, Mac? <laughs> or do you think it would, like, fundamentally change you? Has any sex ever fundamentally changed you? Yes. Which what sex? <laughs> like every time. Especially with you, especially with, you, with you, my lovely wife. Every yes, time. especially with you. I mean, I feel like sex is one of those things where it's like it's in your memory for like a week, maybe after, and then you no, have no, other no. sex and it goes away. You're not gonna forget about this. <laughs> you don't think so? No, nah, no, no, no. Certain experience, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna stick around. It's gonna after, stick with you for After however life. many scenes you've done, you could still recall like how you felt on scene. 350. Yeah, there's, there's certain, not not every single scene, but yeah, the one that were already kind of like special. Yeah, I remember stuff from like way way back. Yeah, wow. big time. So That's like, fair. Like you, sometimes you really do connect with someone. It's like holy shit. I think like I fall I fall in love on set and with like collapse all the time. Like <laughs> when I think about like my memories from when I was like 19, 20, it's like I don't think I remember much besides sex. Mm. Like what the mm. fuck else am I gonna remember? Maybe some like fights and stuff. But yeah, some shows though, <laughs> concert. Yeah, a little bit of that, you know, yeah. but mostly because there was like fights or because I met some girl there that I had sex with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree. I don't like, I barely you. remember I barely any of the sex it. I had before you. Really? Mm-hmm. Just probably wasn't washed that all good. Underwhelming. Wait, really? Yeah, underwhelming. That's probably why. Yeah. Probably. Maybe they didn't yeah. know what they were doing. I don't know. I right. still dream about like sex with some of my exes. Really? Yeah. What, what about it? <laughs> they were just very like good at manhandling me. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm very fond of I've yeah. I've had a lot of really good sexual encounters in my life. I'm very blessed. You know what's a weird thing that she was pointing out to me the other day though is that she she thinks my fetish is just being adored and wanted more so that's than like, like women, women, what that's every what woman wants. wants. I'm like, that's what women want. <laughs> well, that's no, what I want no. to. This Sorry. Is what I was saying like well, there's tons of girls that we follow or follow him or whatever, but like there's only certain ones that he'll point out and, and I realize it's cuz those like those girls have given him attention, so he likes the attention, which makes him want to fuck them more than other girls. You know, wow. like you said, there was a girl following you around at the party, and you were like, <laughs> yeah. "I felt like we were supposed to take her home." <laughs> yeah, yeah, because she's not even a porn star, but she's kind of following us around. And I'm not gonna lie, like the lost puppy vibe sort of was getting to me. I was kind of like, "This is kind of hot." Like I like not that. her size Z tits. Well, that was cool too. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I found out she's a stripper. She had to be something. She had the biggest tits in the world. Yeah, you, you have tits like that. It's like a curse. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what else are you going to do? I don't know.